And today I'm super excited to share with you my binocular mirror mount project. So the whole idea started up when I was looking at the sky with my binoculars, checking out the stars, and then after about 30 minutes I couldn't tell what I was even looking at anymore because I was so concentrated on my neck pain, my back pain, just from holding the binoculars up to the sky. So first we have to get our equipment. I found this handy laptop tray on Amazon for $22.88. Super cheap and then you just need your binoculars, which I'm sure you already have, and then a tripod to put the binoculars on. Now the great thing about this setup is that the tray and the binoculars are both extremely customizable. So you could be sitting, you could be standing, you could uh, be on your tiptoes. Whatever is most comfortable for you, you can make it happen. And more importantly, in different situations, you may need a different setup. So once you have your equipment, you just need a high optical, high grade optical surface mirror. So for this project, I used a quarter inch thick glass for surface mirror with a one wave per inch surface thickness. Now this is great for binocular mount systems because the one wave flatness minimizes distortion as you're viewing through the binoculars onto the mirror and then up to the stars. So when you receive a first surface mirror, don't be surprised if you see a blue laminate coating because this actually protects the mirror during shipping and if you need to store it. So this is what it looks like to peel back that blue laminate. And then when you're ready to use your binocular mount, you would just take it all the way off to expose the first surface side. Perfect. So I constructed this binocular mirror mount to fix that problem. So using the binocular mirror mount, I'm able to look down slightly and bounce the binocular image off the mirror and check out the stars without straining my neck. And the really awesome part about this is it's totally portable. So if you're on the go or you're camping, you're outside and you want to just break it out real quick, you can. So let me just show you in more detail what this is all about. We have the binoculars and it's on a tripod, so you can swivel it up, down, etc. So I would position it in the downward motion, facing the mirror. For this project, I use a glass first surface mirror that's one wave in flatness with an enhanced aluminum coating. And behind the mirror here, we have the laptop stand. It has a little indent, so you can just slip the mirror right in. And for a more permanent installation, you could apply VHB tape to the back of the mirror and fix it onto the laptop stand. Um, I chose to keep it separate so I could show you guys the different, how easily it pops out and what the stand looks like. So I use the enhanced aluminum one wave flat glass first surface mirror because it is great for professional use and it's highly reflective with a nice dielectric coating that doesn't degrade over time. So. Now that we know the basics of the setup, let's just go into more of the features. So the tripod is fully adjustable, so you can go all the way up to a standing position if you want, and the laptop stand can do the same thing. You can go up, down, and on the tripod itself, you could even adjust it. So if you're on a hill, per se, you could be on an incline and it would still be straightforward. Um, <clears throat> other mirror mount projects, actually have it as one piece, but actually I feel the two-piece option is better because you still get that static, no movement. Once you've set it up and you, ha and you found the star you're looking for, you can walk away, come back, and it's still in the same position. Now, for a stargazer, you may be interested in this stargazing app. So I loaded it up here. This is the virtual reality version. So it's giving you the nice water view, and you can tell exactly what's up in the sky. And this can be your map, your guide to the galaxy. If you want something more realistic here, you can turn the augmented reality mode on. And whoop, my finger is in front of the camera. 
so you can actually go straight up and it'll only show the constellations that you'd be able to see right now in the sky when you're pointing it up. So once you've located the star that you want to see through the binoculars, all you do is angle the mirror towards that star. You could use a laser for instance. So let's get that baby out. So the laser actually helps with getting the right angle. So once you've located the star you want to check out, you would just put your laser pointer right on the tip of the binoculars, shoot the laser, and then beam it up so you can tell exactly how to angle the mirror. You want to get the mirror angle first and then set up your binoculars to bounce off that mirror and get the location of the star. So, perfect. All right, so with the glass first surface, you just want to be careful because it, the mirror coating is on the front. So to clean it off, I actually use this Acti Mist isopropyl and all you have to do is spray that on and you could use a lens cloth or Kimmy wipes microfiber cloth and just clean off that surface so when you're done using it you would just clean it off one of the things I noticed when traveling with a first surface mirror also known as a front surface mirror is it picks up a lot of scratches if you aren't careful. So I have actually used Universal Photonics Pre-Coat 33 spray when I'm on the go. And I... So what you do is you take the spray and you just coat the glass with it on the mirror side. And you wanna do a minimum of three layers on this to get a fully coated laminate that will peel away. So once you've sprayed it on, three or more times, let it dry. It's safe for travel, but also to peel that off, all you need is a little bit of like tape or an adhesive to just pick that up and pull it right off again to be able to use next time you're out traveling. If you don't go with the Pre-Coat 33 Blue Spray, I also recommend this protective laminate from CR Lawrence. And it is really nice and easy to apply. You don't have to worry about the fumes as much. And then you would just simply pull this back like so. And then basically wrap the mirror with it. So you would just put that right on the mirror and then I'm gonna just cut off the excess. And then I would just wrap it around so it's nice and protected while you're traveling. So this is just my first rendition of a binocular mirror mount and I really like the fact that it's two separate pieces, but I'd love to hear some feedback in the comments below on any mirror mount projects that you've done and what's worked for you so I can continue to hone and perfect this system to help other astronomers out there. All right, see you later.